This is Salamancer, and you are watching Sal TV, competitive Team Fortress 2, where it looks like that guy who uh, who ordered, you know, the laser to fire on the Death Star. That's that's what I think we got right here. Of course, uh, <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it, but it looked like he had a weird helmet on, except it was like a pink version. I don't even know what we're talking about. Anyway, this is going to be a post-produced cast, and we can thank Beater for the beautiful scoreboard and everything else. We're going to watch Banny on the rollout here, but this is going to be Leviathan Gaming versus... Team Czech, as in the chess club, not Czech Six, chess club. Uh, now, there have been some, like, massive and severe roster changes, so if there's ever a dull moment in this game, we can always talk about that, and I can try and pull the rosters up, but you know, I don't think it's going to be a dull moment, frankly, because we've already got Dave AC taking down uh, Stultus with no problem, and look at what he's doing right now, actually getting in behind this scout as he tries to retreat, so the chess club not very happy about that, Now they did manage to get the kill on Shade in the meanwhile, so Wobble a.k.a. Omar, who was, uh, just changed his name because he was playing with Weeble, I think. Get it? Weeble Wobble! Alright, anyway, uh, no, LG pushing forward now. Um, Omar did get that kill on Shade to kind of even things up, but already Leviathan Gaming off to a good start, and, of course, if you know the result of the land, well, you perhaps know the result of this game. I'm not, I'm not gonna spoil it for you if you're, if you're not thinking, I guess, but, oh, Sizer with a sick kill on Stultus once again, um, and... That kind of shows the chess club's maybe immaturity as a team. I don't know, maybe they just didn't expect to win this for whatever reason. But basically, they're not checking around corners, which seems really weird. But like at least one of them should have looked to his left there at some point walking around because they ought to be aware that these kind of surprise plays and, and tricks and stuff can happen all the time. Ambushes and hiding spots and everything. And we've got Banny trying to defend against Weeble jumping in on Shade. And Shade almost has a quick ready to go. So you will see... LG push him with the crits pretty soon. I think they're gonna try and take out their opponents here on the chess club. Uh, real quick though, as Tag jumps in and goes for the kill or the early pop or something. Oh, sh oh God, he got a drop. Tag, you're so beautiful. <laughs> I seriously, Tag is awesome. Um, so that's gonna save things for the chess club. Actually, they I thought it was just gonna be a sick crits on Banny, and it turned out uh, that was, was quite a beautiful save for the chess club. They get to pull push right back out unless Dave AC jumps in and gets the cap, and he just might. Uh, this is gonna be a race, but I think Dave's got it. Dave, oh no! Dag saving the point against Dave, so Dave doesn't got it at all. And he was not quite prepared for Tag to just respawn and rain down on his head. But that's, uh, that's the raindrops, my friend. They keep on falling. Um, so I know I'm getting close to 500 videos. One of these might actually be the 500th video. One of these two maps. Um, but you know what? It's, it's not going to be anything special. What is going to be special is there is going to be some kind of a, uh, uh, a heavily produced... 500th video celebration, I guess. We'll do, we'll do a celebration. Because it's been about a year since I started shoutcasting. Maybe a little bit more than a year. And 500 videos later, uh, I'm still enjoying it. So, I think I know what I want to do with it. As we watch, of course, Kermit jump in here with the crits... Or, I'm sorry, with that regular Uber, not the crits creep. Coming in and uh, just bouncing shade around a little bit. You see Kermit deciding to back away. Interesting. But yeah, I think I want to know... I know what I want to do with the 500th video. Um, and if you have been on Team Fortress TV recently, you may have seen a certain song get posted on SoundCloud, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I want to do something with that. Or at least something similar with that kind of thing. So that's that's what I'm after. Um, you'll you'll see. You'll see. It'll, it, if it works out, it'll be pretty cool. If it doesn't work out, then I'll just be like, oh, well, it turns out that's not happening. So, you know, stay tuned to my Twitter or whatever, and I'll, I'll try to provide updates when I can. Um... Yeah, so, I'm sorry, I missed a lot of the action, because this is a good game, and I shouldn't be talking over it, but I will occasionally, and you're just going to have to deal with that. That's Sal TV. That's, that's part of the brand. Now, we've got LG backed up to the last point after some very successful saves by the chess club, and some good play all around. Uh, Kermit's... Ker, Kerbit. Ugh. <laughs> Blah. Kermit's been doing some really good play. you got Weeble versus Hero on the snipes, and actually, Sizer gets in and takes down Weeble as he dies himself. I wonder if that's going to be a sufficient trade for the chess club to push in. I doubt it. They are still going to have to deal with Hero on the sniper, and that's not an easy thing to deal with. I'm just, I'm going to tell you right now, it's, it's bad. I will say, though, that Beater has been choosing some excellent camera angles so far in this match. He's been finding us the points of action, which is really awesome, and I, I say I, I watched as much of the finals and everything as I could. I was not able to watch this game because I was in class. So... I really, uh, I, I know that Lang has amazing camera work and that the casting this weekend was super amazing from like DJC and Seabear and everybody, the, the whole uh, MGE crew, I guess you could call them. But, you know. Anyway, we got Weeble going for the shot, doesn't manage to hit it, and now it's just, oh, what? <laughs> 
Dave just uh, taking... I, I guess he knew Ty was going to go for the straight shots, so he decided to try and cover the, the right side in case the sniper decided to jump down that way. And Dave got a, a wicked, disgusting air shot because the sniper decided to strafe that direction. There was no way that the sniper, you know, that Weeble was going to survive anyway, but it was still disgusting. Uh, Hero's still on the sniper, and he's going to be watching to get some kills. Weeble, though, is now on the spy. Will he be spotted here? Uh, he's disguised. Oh, he's disguised as a friendly sniper. That's, of course, it's a fairly common tactic to use these days, but how can you know if they're using it? You can't. And so Weeble, he just wants to get in here. Totally cloaked up right now. What is he going to do? He could try and take down... Oh, no, he didn't have to take down the sentry because it's already been killed. Uh, he sees the med, but that's not going to work. I think they realize he's a spy now. And kaboom! Weeble is down. So that's two players down right now for the chess club. And LG is going to start pushing probably into them a little bit, seeing if they can't gain some territory here. It's always a useful thing to do, but an Uber forced just a little bit early there on Tyrone. He's going to try and force it out of Stultus as well, or at the very least get a kill or two here, maybe on Kermit. Not going to happen yet, though. Banny taking some of the Uber, and Banny not able to put out a lot of damage just yet. The Rockets are flying furiously. Uh, the most that LG really could hope for after that particular Uber exchange was making sure that Stultus popped the Uber, and he did. So, uh, no uber disadvantage, but it's a bit of a player disadvantage. LG's lost two players in that ill-fated attack. And they are now going to be a little bit desperate to try and defend four against five. They are going to have Dave AC respawning, though. And whenever you say his name, you have to you have to say it at least somewhat in the fashion of the best casters, which uh, they typically yell even louder than I do. But, but Dave AC, that's, that's his name. That's just... How you cast Dave AC? You can't guess him any other way. So I'm not going to. Don't ask me to. This is going to be like a billion comments now. Like, Sal, please just just cast like a normal person. I'm going to be like, no! <laughs> if I cast like a normal person, I would be posing. Now, Chess Club are ready to push in here, and, and they're still trying the off-classes. They're trying to figure out something that will work. They've got uh, Omar Wobble now on the heavy. Uh, heavy push is an interesting thing. You need to make sure you get him in there with a lot of health as the uber fades. And you got to be careful about this sniper who is probably going to be able to get a pretty good kill here. But uh, so far, score is not telling too much of a story. You see Try, I think, maybe took a body shot there. So he's going to have to back off real fast. Tagarung is going in. He might just... Oh my! He's going to go for the shots. In the spawn! Kills Shade because that door was held open. I think Banny was like standing too close to the door or something. Shade got killed in the spawn. And Tag is probably, like, screaming at his team, like, Oh, how did that just happen? And, uh, you know, I would love to hear their mumble comms here at that point, but I don't think we have a recording at the moment. Too bad, because that would have been ridiculous. But that is a huge uber advantage. Tyrone now kind of playing the roamer role, which, here's an interesting thing. Um, that's actually... Oh... Well. That's actually what Tyrone is doing now. Uh, in case you missed, like, the fully charged... Or we were t oh, Stultus! Dropping it to a hero. Um, that Tyrone and... Dave are basically both playing Romer. Shade down once again. Hero uh, making sure he finishes a couple players off here, doing some good damage, but there's only two players left. It's just Dave and Hero. Hero trying to be a hero, but it is not going to work out too well. And that is going to be Chess Club scoring round one. Oh, just barely. Dave couldn't stop it in time. That was so close. It was a lot closer than that made it look. Um... Yeah, okay, LG, playing a little bit of a weird style here, because usually you expect a soldier to be like a permanent pocket for his medic, but actually they kind of have Banny and Sizer doing the double, you know, medic protection duty, uh, because Banny likes to stay alive a lot, and Tyrone, yeah, I guess he doesn't care that much, so he decided to play kind of more of a roaming soldier for the season. Um... Which is interesting. It means you've got two soldiers basically being roamers. I think sometimes the old, uh, Mihai's flow team used to try to do that, but... You know, it didn't work out for them too well at land. We'll see if Tyrone and Dave can make it work a little bit better. Right now, they are down one point against the Chess Club. And remember, Chess Club are the fourth seed. Um, LG, actually the second seed. You've got Stultus now trying to escape. He actually does escape. Takes down Dave with the needles. And this isn't... I don't think this is that game, but we are definitely going to be seeing a... Uh, a frag vid of Stultus and his needles because he's ridiculous. Uh, apparently, like, in their game against Mixup, which uh, I still need to watch just for my own purposes. Um, in their game against Mixup, like, the very first play of the game in at the mid-fight was him getting, like, three needle kills in a row. So, <laughs> ridiculous stuff from Stultus. He, he has the needs for needles. Chess Club... 
Oh, excuse me, I had to cough there. Chess Club getting ready to push out here once again into their opponents. Now, they, they have an uber advantage, but oh, nice spot on the Sticky Trap there. And so that's going to mean Banny is going to be uh, um, hurting for damage output just for a little while here. But uh, I do bear in mind he is still like the, the damagingest demo man of all time, if that's even a word, which it is now. Chess Club able to muscle their way onto the point here with the Uber, but Shade almost has an Uber of his own. They're going to try and push this out real fast here, uh, probably with, that is Tyrone. He's taken out with that beautiful, uh, I don't even know what you call that hat. I forget. I wish I could press F right now, but I can't because it's post-produced. Still, Chess Club losing a couple players, including the ever-illustrious Tagarung. Just kind of too bad for him, but oh well. LG will be able to, uh, to recapture the point very easily based on the kills they got on that that Uber exchange. Which really was just their Uber. They were exchanging their Uber for kills at the bank. They're just, you know, they, they walk in, they're like, hi, we have one Uber that we'd like to deposit, and the bank is like, okay, well, we're, we're just going to need to uh, hand you some free kills on the chess club. You know, that's, that's how banks work. I'm an economist. Try jumping in and trying to deal some damage of his own with this free Uber they have. Shade only at 60% right now, and they are able to get a couple kills of their own on LG. Uh, the question is, what do they do in the transition afterwards? Hero and Tyrone both going down. Dave at very, very low health. Going to have to jump away. And he will get away for a little while here. Uh, getting back to the med, so no dead Dave for the moment. You do see Banny launching those stickies and pipe bombs and everything. Good save there by one of those scouts. Didn't see which one that was with the green hat. Um, hopefully we get to figure out who, who green hat scout is eventually here. Um, but to take down that sticky trap, because that actually could have killed his soldier there, I think. Or at least done a lot of damage to the push. So LG once again backing away from mid, but they haven't lost it yet, so... They actually still are in possession of that point, and are going to be jumping towards second, chasing back away, actually, the chess club! It's going to be a nice big soldier bomb by Tyrone, the second roaming soldier of Leviathan Gaming, taking down the chess club and their medic. So Chess Club, not too happy about this. They've only got two players left alive right now. Five seconds until the rest of them spawn. They've got a heavy, but he's really even in position to defend this point properly if Sizer just kind of stands behind the wall. No, he will take down Sizer. But does it matter too much? Is Chess Club still or a couple players down, losing too many because they're on the point one at a time? It's going to be that. Leviathan bringing it back up one to one. And we can talk about rosters a little bit. I think we should. I think talking about rosters is cool because some weird stuff happened. For one, uh... Apparently, as, as I read on Team Fortress TV, so this, you know, take us with a grain of salt. Some of it may be rumor, but um, apparently Tyrone and Banny weren't getting along all season, which isn't good for, you know, team cohesion. And now Tyrone actually has uh, has basically issued an ultimatum. I don't know if the changes have gone through yet, but I think they have, where the Space Whales, most of the members of the Space Whales, will be joining the LG roster with Tyrone. Uh, and Banny and Sizer and the rest of the LG team have basically been cut. So that's going to be a little bit weird. Uh, I, I'm not sure where Clockwork is and all that, actually. I haven't, I haven't checked that part of the roster yet. Um, but yeah, oh, LG, of course, winning a nice big mid-fight there. And Shade holding onto his Uber, so that's going to be probably a quick round here for LG. Yeah, so some, some weird dynamics going on. Uh, LG finally losing a tournament enough to make them... Um, basically enough to make them want to, like, break up. And they've... You know, they've been a really long-standing team in Invite. So, you know, under one name or another. So, this is going to shake things up quite a lot. We will see what happens next season. I'm kind of excited to see some team shakeups next season. Uh, I want to see the new blood. I want to see I want to see the new team rosters and, and how things work out. It's going to be it's going to be a fun time. It really will. An Invite next season. I'm going to enjoy casting it. Whatever I can of Invite. Sizer getting taken out in this push, but Banny is jumping in, dealing a lot of damage right now. The Uber is ready to go, and there you go. Shade does finally pop it. Uh, I probably shouldn't have taken my allergy shots today, but I was like four days late on them, so I had to. Weeble getting in with a nice kill on Shade, and he is going to try and follow things up here on the demo man as well. Can he find Banny? Banny down to 175 health. The overheal is now eaten up. It's gone, but he will be able to grab a health kit and be perfectly fine here. Uh, he's going to try and thwart away Weeble. Oh, what a pill! And that was actually, I, that looked so practiced. It just looked perfect. He was just like, okay, well, I know where this scout is standing, so I'm going to lay a sticky basically to his right and behind him. Well, to his left. Banny's right. But to the right and behind him, so that he basically cut off his retreat route, and then that's going to force the scout to, you know, basically make a choice. Either I run over the sticky and die, or I try to run in and finish off Banny, and, and then Banny was just like, well, he's going to take the second choice, so I'm going to launch a pipe right into his face. And that is 
That's I, all of that entire thought process that I just named right there. Tag jumping in, trying to get the kill on Banny again. Or, I'm Shade. I mean. Not able to do it this time. But yeah, that entire thought process was like a fraction of a second. It was just just part of Banny's being. Kermit now trying to escape and actually flubs a jump there, so he is going to get shot up against that wall. Uh, take a little break. Just hang out with his bottle of scrumpy and, and think about what he did wrong there at LAN. Uh, but LG losing... Uh, not losing any momentum, I should say. Chess Club losing a lot of players. LG losing no time. In attacking, they're basically just waiting for Banny to get in and really cause some havoc. And that's the charge. Now, they are going to have to try and force a pop out of Stultus at some point here. Wobble, though. Omar getting taken out. And Weeble. <laughs> Wobble, Weeble. Both dead. Chess Club losing both their scout players, and so they do still have the soldiers. But you see how well LG is kiting this Uber. They're basically saying, okay, well, now the Uber's over, we can go right back in. Now that we have run away from it successfully and not lost hardly any players. Nice pill by Banny, but of course he's not the only one getting a bunch of kills here. And you know, that's going to be 2-1 to one for Leviathan Gaming, making things just a little bit tougher for their opponents, the chess club, to rack up the points. Now, I know there's a point system in chess, right? You get points for, like, capturing enemy pieces, I think. I totally don't know how that works. Um, and, sorry. But there's totally points in chess, and you can make them. You can earn points. And I don't know why, because it doesn't seem like it would necessarily tell you anything about who's going to win the game unless it's a really, really a bad discrepancy. I don't know. Maybe it's just for stats nerds. Whatever. <laughs> probably is. Like, There's probably whole statistical models that people are just like, look, we're watching the tri-cam as he destroys the enemy team, by the way. Just completely, oh, and Kermit finishing things off. But yeah, there's probably whole statistical models where people like sit down and run linear regressions on like how many points you get in chess based on some other factors determine when you're going to win most of the time. And it's like, okay, well, good for you guys. But you can't shoutcast chess. Actually, that sounds like my next real-life shoutcasting video is a game of chess. I'll just, I'll just go sit two people down like in a quiet area, like a library, and like run in holding a microphone with a, you know somebody like like a whole camera crew behind me and just be like whoa he's putting him in check right now the rook is moving around like crazy what do you think yeah yes no yes no probably no it just sounds like an awful idea doesn't it anyway uber coming in right now from the chess club they're trying to bring this up to two to two they've got to deal with a heavy and they will take sizer down right away the uber is already over shade nowhere near an uber of his own and Try is doing his best to deal damage here, but Chess Club losing so many players. Dave AC with the ridiculous kills on the kill feed, and Banny will knock Try around in the air for a nice defense on Leviathan Gaming. It's still 2-1. to one. Uh, Now, Omar is going to go spy. We're going to see if he can't at least try and even the score here. He's not going to be able to get, uh, to get that last point capped in time, but you do see Kermit laying down some sticky traps, and Wobble, Omar... He's just waiting for his opportunity to strike. He's using that cloak and dagger too, so he can he can wait a long time. He's, he's never going to be seen until the moment he needs to. He's going to go ahead and decloak now. He knows Shade wants to push him with his 100% Uber. Is he going to actually force the drop from Shade? Shade's taking a lot of hits right now, but he does! Gets the drop. It's a beautiful spy play to slow the momentum of Leviathan Gaming. Trading a med for a spy is a little bit risky sometimes, but you will see the chess club try and push in and follow up on this, and it's actually going to work really well. They played the heals very nicely, and by play the heals, I mean they just made sure more of their players were uh, dealing damage than dying. It doesn't sound right. Let me try again. They, they were trying to make sure they chipped away at the enemy team uh, and did a lot of damage with... You, you always want to do a lot of damage without dying, but when the enemy doesn't have a medic to heal that up, it means you can just kind of pressure him back farther and farther. And they did it! They did it, okay? Look, the point is, they pushed and they did a good job. Yay! Salamates are shoutcasting. Leviathan Gaming now set back up on their second point. You got Hero on the sniper, who apparently he's just a really darn good sniper. But he's not hitting anything just yet. Sizer actually uh, hitting a trap there, something like that. And Kermit will finish him off. Kermit, of course, an amazing devil man. Um, actually, Kermit apparently, and I, this is before my time, but Kermit dodged a LAN at one point. Um, just didn't show up to it. So he has redeemed himself at this season 12 LAN? Is it season 12 or is it season 13? I think it's season 12. So anyway, Kermit. Kermit. So hot right now. Kermit. 
And LG, once again, are back on their last point due to a uh, an unfortunate series of events for them, including the spy pick. But Shade, he seems like he's ready to push forward with an Uber. Maybe take advantage of his opponents not having one. A little bit of a weird move here, because you don't usually see teams doing this. It puts them at a very big risk of a back cap. But they know where the entire chess club team is, I think. They they spot them out. And Sizer's able to get a bunch of kills here, taking down Weeble and Wobble. So I'm pretty sure the chess club are just going to have to back off once again. Uh, they're losing their opportunities here because, uh, you know, in part, probably because uh, they're they're facing off against Banny and Dave and Sizer and all that, who are just able to get in and cause so many so many deaths among the chess club. But you know, LG is going to have to retreat temporarily from this Uber, and they've already lost both their soldiers. So that's a pretty big deal. They do still have Sizer and Banny. It's a, it's a fearsome combo to go up against. Uh, two of the most celebrated players in the game. But it's possible. They, they've got the ability to make it happen. And right now, Chess Club are once again trying to push in and recapture. They've got you know, a lot of damage going down on a demo, their uh, soldier, and of course only one of those guys can be healed at a time. It's just kind of the way these things work. Tag with a nice air shot on Tyrone! And Leviathan Gaming will have to back off because of that tag, grabbing some health of his own, but you will see Shade with 15 health left, trying his very best to gather up the strength for an uber charge and he will be able to do just that they are pushing out defending the point very successfully right now chess club in full retreat as banny lays down some sticky traps all over the place just making sure his opponents don't get back in to try and cap once again uh, we'll see if these traps actually accomplish much of anything other than boxing off um, usually you expect your team to kind of know the traps are somewhere they're going to check around every door but you never quite know when those things are going to go off and just ruin somebody's day now Dave is holding up top here. He sees Stultus. He's going to go for the kill. At least gets the force there. And now he's going to try and retreat. Meanwhile, uh, we've got a swapping camera all over the place. Try using that Uber as much as he can. But you see no kills in the kill feed there. In fact, Chess Club losing one. So now Try is jumping in, taking out Tyrone. He's in behind this scout. Takes down Sizer. Going for Dave AC. Not able to quite finish that one off. Not yet, anyway. But he's still looking for it. No, sir. Life and gaming hold that very effectively once again, and they're just playing a very slow game right now. It seems like they're they're concerned about a back cap. They're concerned about their opponents um, being able to blunt their pushes, and and so that it seems to be making a pretty big deal. But the chess club, uh, they are slowly losing ground now. In fact, they are losing middle, and they're back on their own second point. Not a great position to be in. They had to give it up because their opponents had the Uber. They didn't get the force out of Shade, so Shade will be able to probably make an attempt at an Uber push here. He's not doing it yet, but I'm saying he probably could. Um, yeah, and yes, they will. They're going to go ahead and try to push in through this right-hand side. They're not really being punished for the push too much right now. In fact, hardly any spam here as the Chess Club now just get into this fight. Uh, they gave their opponents a lot of room to work with, and that's going to mean two kills. Try and tag both down. That's the soldiers for the Chess Club gone. Banny's going to lay some sticks down, trying to stop the men from getting through, and he does! Stoltis gets popped up in the air. Banny with an amazing sticky bomb play there perfectly predicting where Stoltz was going to go with those things. I mean, you, you don't see better sticky aim often anywhere. Banny is he's just, he's just amazing. He's just amazing. He's the demo man TF2 needs, but not the one he deserves right now. I never thought I would ever say that. I feel sad. Uh, LG go ahead for the cap, though. They've got to deal with one scout on the point, and that is going to be it. It is three to one in favor of Leviathan Gaming. Now, there is a halftime, of course, at three points, but you know what? I'm not going to worry about that. I'm pretty sure we're not going to worry about that. Yeah, they're just going to go ahead and start. No, we're not. We Are we? No, I'm pretty sure we're... Yeah, okay, that was halftime. My apologies. I didn't actually know what Peter was going to do with that. Uh, LG starting a man down for the moment, but they'll probably get him back in just a second. There's going to be like a... Probably some sort of a pause that they'll have to do. Yeah, there you go. And, and now they'll get their player in and start things off. Um, now you'll see the HUD is not updating, and there it finally goes. Uh, Valve still hasn't quite patched out the HUD problems we've had yet. Kermit taking a weird jump there, so he's actually going to be pretty late to this mid-fight, potentially. Um, and already Banny's stickies are just exploding in front of his face. Not doing any damage yet, but he is definitely uh, making the, I guess the... What do you call it? 
Intimidation plays. Intimidation was the word I was looking for. Sometimes you just you just take a little bit of time getting the words. Beautiful kills by Dave AC. I'm sorry. Dave AC. There we go. Um, destroying the retreating chess club members. And now he's actually going to be starting to work his way into last. You do see two players ready to respawn. And three, in fact. Tag, Try, and Omar. They're all going to be up. Heavy, heavy classes. Heavy hitters. Good damage dealers. But Dave, he's uh, he's ready for somebody to maybe get a little bit too frisky here and walk out and try to defend second. Uh, really not a good idea for Chess Club to even attempt that at the moment. Sides are just watching that door down there, getting the capture. Those beautiful cat points. They mean so much. And Omar, oh, he sees this. A nice kill on Banny is going to slow down the push. LG can still push in with this if they want to. It's going to be 5 on 6. They'll have the Uber, but you do see Tag. Oh, Tag. Oh, Tag. Oh, oh Tag taking down Shade. Oh, man, that's ridiculous. You know what? I've actually seen that moment. Tag produced a uh, just a short little um, a little video clip, I guess a frag video of his own antics at LAN. Uh, it was It's beautiful, and it's because Tag is a beautiful man, and he is able to destroy medics with relative ease it seems he just walks in he's like oh well i'll pop shade up and i'll die and my last rocket will just hit him and he's flying away in the air because i've calculated his trajectory perfectly in my head that's the way a roamer plays plays very mathematic i'm just kidding he just totally like flick aimed that rocket and it was it was like i don't want to say it was the biggest luck rocket ever because of course tag is a very very good soldier and he's got good aim but there is a little bit of luck involved in that i'm pretty sure uh, still a back cap going on right now, and Omar might... No! Oh, he just barely killed Dave before that happened. Can they actually stop the point? No, LG cannot stop the second point from getting captured, so they are not going to be able to back cap it right away. But they are stacking it really quickly. You notice Shade, um, Tyrone, and Sizer all capping very quickly. Kermit's going to have to be really careful about where the enemy come in from. Now he's finally got some uh, friends respawning here. But Shade actually doesn't decide to go in right away, which... I would have expected him to, but no, sir. Shade is just like, uh, I'm going to wait till I have Uber. And LG's all like, oh, but we wanted to get the kills. And he goes, no, guys, come on. Just wait a little bit. Uh, Omar, I'm sorry, I was about to call him Wobble again. Omar is uh, setting up a sentry there. Tyrone going for a nice kill, though, and he does take down Weeble on that sniper. Uh, LG already getting a lot of cap time on the point, and Tyrone was thinking about saving his med. I guess it didn't even matter at that point. It was basically just uh, LG's game to lose there. But the score is now 4-1. to one. Take a look at that beautiful scoreboard. Um, as, as beautiful, I guess, as it's going to get, considering our current movie maker? I don't know. Um, if you, if you want to help with that kind of graphic art, I guess just send me a picture that is easily updated with numbers and stuff. And, you know, we'll try and get it in there. Because uh, I'm not in charge of all that. It's Peter. That's him. It's all on him. I mean, I think it looks a lot better than, like, the orange text. Uh, Weeble jumping in, though, going for the kill on Banny. Not able to quite get things happening yet. He will, however, do a lot of damage. At the very least, he's able to do that. Uh, now going in for Shade. And Shade goes for the Ubersaws, but that's not going to quite happen. Weeble has his number. Very good prediction there. And finally, Weeble goes down to Banny. But he did at least save things for the chess club. They've actually got Steltus still alive. And Steltus is... I... <laughs> I wish I knew him better. Because I can't... I honestly cannot tell if his posts on Team Fortress TV are, are like, elaborate trolls, or if he's just a, a very awkward person. And there's no problem with either one of those answers. There really is not. But he makes he makes the sometimes the silliest uh, posts on Team Fortress TV uh, about, like, asking girls out. And his... Uh, really hilarious. I guess he said he was going to be, like, quote-unquote, in character for the whole LAN. He was going to wear, like, a, a suit and tie or something. A uh, good attempt there by Dave to, to get some ambushes going on, but didn't really work out too well. The Uber is just now popped for the Chess Club. They are pushing their opponents out of mid, so they should be able to cap it very effectively. Just that Shade is going to have an Uber of his own to push right back in with. And so just like you see a lot on Gully Wash, you're going to see on Snakewater here as well. Play some uh, some midpoint ping pong, potentially, as Shade, as soon as this Uber's ready to go, he's going to be telling his team, come on, guys, let's get in, let's get in. Uh, where is Banny right now, though? That's the question. And what do the scores say? Oh, I didn't even read them. I hope you read them. I didn't. Yeah, here you go. Shade's pushing in. Uh, actually, yeah, this is exactly what the chess club really should be doing. You notice that that they're allowing their opponents just to take a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more ground. Uh, they lose one player, but really, they should be in a position to re-push this as soon as they have their Uber. 
And that's what happens a lot in these situations when the Uber timings are just off by a factor of half, uh, where one team gets it, the other team has 50% ready to go. Uh, you'll just see the chess club try and repush with their own Uber, and it's basically down to whichever team makes mistakes first in that push. Um, because once one team makes a mistake, then you have a bit of a problem. Uh, the Uber fails, whatever the case. Weeble and Dave both down. Um, I almost wish Dave's name was Bob, because then I could have said Weeble and Bob were down, and I would have felt like a boss. But I don't. Uh, Hero trying to... Oh, he's behind enemy lines here. He's gonna... Oh, no! He was gonna try and force a Uber by the Stultus. He wasn't able to do it. He actually got caught out by Omar. By Wow Omar. And Sizer is now in full retreat here with the rest of his team. He wants to make sure Shade at least stays alive. Shade's got 100% Uber, though, so he shouldn't be too bad off. Doesn't want to have to pop that just reactionary. He wants to really pop that in an offensive or positional or tactical situation. Um, reactive Uber pops are typically like going to be the worst pops for your team. They're not awful, but they're not good, like a, like a really good tactical positioning conquering Uber would be. I just used a lot of words there. I'm not really even sure what they mean myself. We'll figure it out eventually. YF Gaming wants to push in, though. Oh, they see a scout going around the side, and they're going to have to deal with that. Uh, getting a little bit flanked here. The Uber is coming in now, and Dave AC has been taken out by Kermit. Sizer is, meanwhile, trying to uh, to maintain some position here. Weeble does get taken down, so, you know, LG might be able to do just that. You see Sizer getting one kill on Kermit, taking down a try along with Hero. He and Hero seem to be working pretty well together this game. And Sizer is just kind of uh, continuing the streak. Banny, of course, continuing his hideous output of damage. It is, it is brutal. It is like... It's so disgusting how much damage he does. You, you look at most of the games he was in, and Banny outdamages everybody by a factor of three. It's awful. Um, I, I will go ahead and spoil the results of the finals now if you haven't seen them yet. So, you know, cover your ears or something for the next minute. But basically the way that Mixup defeated Leviathan Gaming in the finals was that they shut down Banny. They shut down Banny really effectively. You, you go to the stats page and you notice that Banny just didn't get the damage. Uh, not at all. He actually died way more than he lived. Uh, died way more than he killed, I'm sorry. Uh, and, and that was a big part of why LG lost to Mixup. Mixup just, they knew how to shut down the best player on Leviathan Gaming. Meanwhile, Chess Club not able to do that. It's 4-1. to one. And Chess Club are going to potentially have to sit back on their last point for a while. Hero getting a nice kill on Try. And you know, there's not a lot of time left for the Chess Club to really come back and win this. And, and to win it, they're going to have to get that five points. So it's four in a row. Four unanswered points is what they need. Uh, sounds like maybe somebody just offered something special to somebody else who was also special. Maybe. Or maybe somebody got a new item. I don't know. What me? I don't even have TF2 open. Uh, I just have a, a movie player open, which is what I am watching this with. And what you should be watching this with, you should be watching it with your favorite movie player of all, YouTube! Right? If you're not watching it with YouTube, tell me what you are watching it with, because, well, <laughs> I ask you to do that, but if you're not watching it with YouTube, how are you going to leave a YouTube comment? How are you going to do it? You can't, can ya? It's not like you could open YouTube and go to the video page and leave a comment. You totally should, though, and maybe like the video and maybe favorite it and then tell all your friends to do the same thing and then, like, send me money. Just straight up, send me cash. I'd, <laughs> I'm kidding. Please don't do any of that at all, ever. Just like if... No. No. Uh, this could be the end of the game here, though. Leviathan Gaming trying their best to push in. There, A lot of them are at very low health. You see Hero at 10... Dave AC, Dave AC down as well. Uh, and Stultus took a lot of damage there, but it was a very good Uber for the rest of his team. Getting a lot of kills. Tag, though, the first one to go down in this defense. They've taken down Banny, so it may have been a good trade. And I think that Chess Club are going to be able to push right back after that second point. This could be the start of their comeback. Going to have to be some lightning rounds here. But, you know, they could do it. Sizer, though, on the heavy. The offensive, defensive, sort of big, meaty, slow-down-the-game type of heavy. And that's exactly what he wants to do. He's just like, screw playing Scout, man. I'm just going to, like, slow this game down as much as possible. I'm going to have, like, 450 buffed health and deny any kind of soldier and demo man jumping and just ruin everyone's day. So that is what's going to happen right now. The heavy weapons guy is out. Weeble quickly taking the sniper roll to try and uh, try and counter this. 
But we'll see if it actually works out. Try is uh, not able to do a lot of damage here. Banny still has that overheal and is doing a bunch of damage to Stultus. That's going to force the Uber. Stultus will Uber try and try is going to try and get in on Shade. Shade actually was a little bit too far forward there. Um, a little bit too bold, but you know, there is the Uber. Try is going to have to abandon ship right now. And Hero, I guess we're watching Hero. Probably going to start the capture here on that second point once again. Uh, Weeble not able to get any kills just yet, and he is getting forced back here by all the damage coming out of the team. Leviathan Gaming looking so solid. Uh, Try does get in and kill Sizer. He's going for the kill on Shade. Shade pulling out the needles, but no. Hero will be the hero his team needs. And I'm not going to say anything about the rest of that line. He, he's just going to be the hero they need. That's it. And he's going to save his med. Chess Club, meanwhile, sitting back on their last point. They've got Weeble on the defensive sniper, but that's not always the best role to have. Defensive sniper can be very easily shut down by two things. First, hide your med until it's time to push. And second, pop the Uber around the first corner you possibly can. Do not expose your head to the sniper ever until you are invincible. And then there's basically nothing that the sniper can do. You see him going for a shot right here, but he's really not going to be able to make much happen unless he spots out Banny or somebody. I'm not sure why Leviathan Gaming would even be bothering to offer their heads at this point or anything. There you go. Now they are going to start pressuring Weeble a little bit. He's going to feel like he has to move around. And Leviathan, uh, they're going to push in soon. Might go for a pick of their own. A pick being a kill in this case. And Kermit's going to kill Hero, actually. That was a little bit weird. Don't know why Hero went in, but... Oh, no, you know what? I do know why Hero went in, because he wants to switch off to Sniper. And Weeble is going to go for the kill on Sizer. He doesn't quite get it. Oh, Weeble. Oh, Weeble. Weeble, you're crazy. Weeble, you're crazy. Weeble, you are insane. Yeah, this is not going to work. Uh, that kind of move by a Sniper can work if your opponents don't expect it. You drop down out of that little... Well, it's called a drop down. So you drop out of the drop down. Uh, take one quick shot if you can spot their med, and if you can, if you can get that headshot, then you have basically just done an amazing thing. If you can't, then you are deep behind enemy lines and you're going to die. And that's going to mean Leviathan are pushing right away. Now, the Uber is just popped for Chess Club. They've got a nice uh, nice little length of time where they can get the kills. Weeble getting two. Tyrone and Sizer are both down, and Weeble's going to try and uh, ramp around, make sure nobody's coming in through the left-hand side. Meanwhile, the Chess Club are going to push out once again, trying to get to that uh, second point and recapture it. But things are looking dire at the moment. Time is starting to run out here for the Chess Club to really make anything happen. It's going to be Banny versus Tag. And Tag does force his opponents out. But Leviathan Gaming, they've still got their med. They've still got the ability to push back in with an Uber once they have it. Tag trying to stop Weeble from dying, but that's not going to happen. Now Tag going down himself to a nice sticky from Banny. But is there ever not a nice sticky from Banny? I don't think those exist. I think Banny just, like, every single sticky he... he outputs. Every single one he launches has like a little little happy face on it. And it's like, you know, I know we're fighting right now, but I hope you have a really nice day and I think you're an awesome person. And that's they just they say that until they explode and, and then of course they've exploded. And if you happen to explode in their vicinity, then you've you've been you've been bombed by nice, basically. That's what just happened. Chess Club though are are in a dire position. Once again, they are sitting back here and are potentially just going to be destroyed. Uh, that is Hero on the sniper. You see, of course, it's going to be him versus Weeble, and Weeble's a good sniper in his own right, but... Oh, yes he is. Hero actually uh, losing that particular sniper battle. But LG, they've they've got this game in the bag at this point. It's 4-1, to one, and LG just continues to hold their opponents to their last point, so there's going to be no scoring going on whatsoever by the chess club. Tag getting desperate, walking out there with Try. Uh, Omar dying as well. The Uber is actually out for LG, and they've gotten a bunch of kills. Stultus is able to pop an Uber. I do see. What is this demo man doing? This is ridiculous. Okay, so Banny's able to just fully recharge all of his stickies, reload the entire thing. He had a bunch of stickies on the point. He's going to be able to stop this, and that is the win for Leviathan Gaming. Stay tuned for round two.